Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the brand new map, a story art created by Hybes. Oh my god, this looks absolutely beautiful, man. Jesus, just look at it. I mean, we've got the, the Black Ops 4 HUD right here. We're, like, we're playing as Marston. we got, what, Gravestones right here? What, is that all of the characters? Russman, Molten, Stoolinger, and we got Misty. Holy crap. Seriously, though, man, just check out the visuals. My god, this looks so damn sick. Now, Astoria, what does it come with? Well, it comes with very fucking zombies, for starters. Um, it comes with a full Easter egg that we're going to try and do today as well. It also contains, uh, like, a special wonder weapon. It's got side Easter eggs. I mean, it's even got fucking livestock. Look, we got chickens out here. Can we try and shoot? Yes, look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe I shouldn't have killed a chicken, but that's live. My God, this pistol is fucking OP. Yo, one hit kill. Oh, my God, we can get double kills with it. Hey, look, the ascension roll. <laughs> oh, that's sick. Oh, I see birds. I see birds in the background. Oh, look, we have another horsey. <laughs> and some more chicken. But you know what? This time around, I promise. I promise I'll leave them alone. So, yeah, I'm probably going to complete this round. And then, ooh, times two points. Very, very juicy stuff. You see that? It just dodged my bullets. Motherfucker. So far, man, I'm not going to lie, though. I'm enjoying it, man. Things are looking great. The visuals are looking sexy. We're being gifted by the drops right now times two points. We'd love to see it, man. Right, that's it. Round five. Let's go. Let's push. 4K points. First door, 750. And here we are. We are moving on to our... F what the f... Yo, the tree has a face. Oh, my God. And it's moving. Yo, that is some scary shit. Quick revive. Yes. Thank you very much. I need that. Hey, look. The fire truck. The last time I saw this was in Mori. Not the original one, but the, uh, the rebirth. Hey, Cactus, yo, this reminds me of Hype straight away. Because whenever he did, like, the promotion for this map, sometimes he always used, like, the uh, the Cactus emoji. Oh, my God, we have the witch's house. And look, the witch is just there as well. Can we shoot her? Fuck that bitch, man. Can we shoot her? No, we can't. Oh, damn. Screw her, man. She always takes our cash. Oh, God. Oh, it just gets even worse. Look, people are pinned to it. Fuck. Oh, my God, there's a motherfucking witch. Oh, my God. I don't know if this is because it's... Oh, yeah, it's a witch round. Okay, cool. I thought I pissed her off because I shot her in the window. Hey, look, high five. Woohoo! Right, you go away from it. Oh my god, this pistol is actually OP. This pistol is actually OP. One shot to the witches. Hello, Mr. Chicken. I know I promised, but get shanked. Get knifed! Oh, that's sad. But does anyone want any KFC? <laughs> Yo, we got the barn. 1,000. Okay, I'll crack it open. Yo, Leroy's cell from Buried. Oh, that is nice. Money changer. And we have the carbine as well for 800. Do you know what? I might treat myself. I'm going to treat myself to a carbine. Oh, my God. We can go upstairs. <gasps> we could go upstairs. Yo, I haven't been inside the barn since, like, legit Black Ops 2. Okay, cool. We need to make sure we don't get overrun, though. As long as they only come up from one side. Oh, we got a drop. What do we get? Zombie blood? I mean, why not? All right, let's go ahead and pick that up. There we go. Now, we have some time to kind of explore. So, let's lay down my stamina up. Uh, we have this lovely scenery here with the rocks and the trees. Oh, my God. I just clocked mystery box. Yo. First things first, though, I should really take these guys out because they're just probably going to bite me in the ass later. Can we climb over this? Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. We can climb over things. I know it might sound stupid, but trust me, in zombies, is something that you, you know, you're not really used to doing. Apart from the most latest gods, like in Cold War, you can pretty much mantle over anything. But in Black Ops 3, it's not something you see very often. Right, so we've opened up the barn. I guess we should go ahead and open this side. I mean, I got 3,000 points. Uh, that's only 1,000 as well. Can we go inside this house? That would be pretty sick if we can. Let's go upstairs. We can indeed. Look at that. Anything here for us to grab? Any parts? Who knows? Oh my god. Mini Arthur. Yo, let's shoot him. Why not? And a little knife as well. So I'm assuming we can like jump over this, right? Oh, that is sick. Honestly. And slide off? Yeah. Oh, sad. I thought I was going to be able to like slide right off like some 007 shit. Ooh, car 98. Okay, we are really using these World War guns. So let's just follow this path. And this is going to take us to the witch's house, which is 1250. Let's pop it open. Another chicken. So can we just buy this door now? Yes, we can. Look at that. 1750. And we can buy this door for 1250, which takes us all the way back to the barn. Oh, my God. Here we go. This is it. I've had so many bad memories, man. If you guys remember Buried, you walk in and straight away, you just get attacked by the motherfucking witches. Hopefully, they're not actually here to attack us. Yo, look at that. The OG painting. Oh, that's sick. I actually want that in my house. Right, so step one of the Easter egg is we need to first turn on the power. And then we need to activate four dyes and drag paintings. One of them can be found inside a secret room. The other one can be found downstairs in the right corner of the entrance, which I believe is this one here. 
The next can be found to the left of the painting of Arthur, which is, this is the painting. So I'm assuming it's like in here somewhere. And the last one I think is like downstairs before the power. No idea where that is, but I'm sure we'll find it. Right, you sir, you need to go, man, because you are like literally right up my arse. You're about to take me out. So I guess I might as well just like check out the entire house and see what we can find. So anything around here. Oh, 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 clear debris. This is it. This is the debris we need to clear. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and crack open this door. And let's, oh my god, yo, the memories, man, the memories from Buried. Honestly, using this house is such, it was such a great touch. So much nostalgia's coming back, man. Look, with the ray gun taking out the witches and shit. Oh my god, he's just charging at me. Right, so we can go through here. Oh my god, we got this little drop down. Can we go through, oh my god, we're burning. Right, okay, do not go through the flaming hole. Right, let's push on. Anything, any parts, anything for us to collect? Anything at all. Why does this feel dangerous? This feels like a dangerous area. I don't like this. Honestly, I don't. I feel like, I'm, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I don't like it. I really don't. Oh my God. See, this is what I was saying. This move. I'm away, please. <gasps> this is stress. I need to reload. I need to reload. I need to reload. Go, 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 go. Ooh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh my God. This is, oh God, I'm red. Slide. Jump. Run. I actually can't believe I made it out. <laughs> oh my God. I actually can't believe I made it out. Headshot time, let's go. Headshot, what do we get? Max ammo, yes. I need points anyway, regardless, so I'm glad. Fucking hell, Ascension Rollers, chill out, man. Yo, I've only just noticed this. Look, look at the gun, right? Let me try and get some sunlight. Can you see the blood? Yo, that's actually so sick. So this is like a brand new feature that's been added to the uh, to the map as well, which is really, really nice. I think it's a mod as well. I've seen that mod being created somewhere on Twitter. I've definitely seen it somewhere. I forgot who made it. It might be the chicken hat man, but I don't know. Yeah, we can go down here. Look, 1250 for this chair. Let's carry on. There's a, uh, what is this? Is that a, a malice? Oh my God, a malice. Another gun over here. I remember this gun. I use this in Wanted by Zero. That's a banger of a gun, especially pack a bunch. Right, what is here? We can go outside. That's looking very, very nice. You know what? Fuck off. Just go away from me. Aha! Power! Yes, let's go! Whoa. Whoa! That is creepy. Anyway, let's switch on power. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and probably swap out the carbine. Pick up this STG. And then I'm going to go back to the, um, like, roughly the starting area. And I'm going to just train up zombies because I need hella points. I feel like there's going to be so many doors. So, yeah, I'm just going to rack up bare points. Five minutes later. So we're in the mansion at the moment, but uh, before I actually head on outside, I just remembered there are paintings that we need to um, actually interact with, and they are specifically the Eisendrak ones. So, you know, they're going to be things related to the map, like this one here. As you can see on the flag, right, it's got two dog heads. Now that is from the Eisendrak. So I guess if we interact with it, something should happen. Right, well, it just flashed, so that's good news. Right, I know what to do. So basically, with the four paintings, uh, it's trial and error. You have to basically go to each one interact with it and you need to make sure each one stays glowing that's pretty much what you need to do so there's another painting here if we hold x on it uh there you go see look that's staying glowing which means that is the first one now there's another one through here if you come all the way down where the uh the sten is to this room here there should be another painting just here let's go and hold x but right, that went off so that's not the right one now unfortunately when you do get it wrong you have to actually you know restart the whole thing so again we're just going to hold x on this one and uh yeah like i said it's trial and error so we just have to figure it out the second one should be downstairs, past the malice in the corner, just over here, which did stay on. That's perfect. So now for the third one, I'm going to head downstairs here and pray that this is the third one. Otherwise, I need to do it all again. And it stayed on. Perfect. So the last one is in the secret room. And then we have completed this step, which is, again, by the sten, right at the back in the corner. Just go over and hold it. And there you go. Step number two has been completed. Well, actually, step number one, really. Right. So according to the guide, right? For step number two, once you've done the four paintings, come inside this room here. And at the back of the map just here, there's going to be a drawer, which should open up. There you go. And then we have a key. And this key is used to open up a gate somewhere in the maze. Now, I'm assuming the maze is somewhere... Oh, God, the zombie died. Ah, oh, well, right. We're going to have to go outside and get another crawler because I'm not going to go outside in the maze just yet. Fuck that shit. Well, it's actually a witch round, so that technically doesn't count. Right, I'm going to get through this witch round and then get a crawler and then we're going to crack on with it. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, that's more like it. So, we've got some peace and quiet now. I've got like three zombies. There are normal runners, so they're going to be chasing me, but I'll make them into a crawler in a second. Uh, let's crack open this door, 1500, and we have finally made it outside, right at the back of the mansion, to where I believe, ooh, PBSH, oh, that's tempted, but this is the maze, oh my god, oh my god, let me transform you into a crawler, and that did not work, oh god, that's not good, 
Right, let's chuck another grenade here. Please, please, please. There we go. That's more like it. Right, so two coolers, and I've just realized we have jugs. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that as well. Right, without further ado, let's crack open this maze, and let's actually have a little look. Wait, what? Switch. Oh, my God, there's a green switch. Okay, cool. This is just like... What the fuck? My screech. Oh, my God. What is that? Yo, we have the werewolf. Why is he just standing? Oh, my God. There we go. Now he's following me. Okay. How do I kill him? It doesn't look like he's taking damage. Oh, my God. The motherfucker is fully chasing me. Oh, my God. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah, we need to take this guy out. Why are you not taking damage? Right, let's use the OP pistol. Run, 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 run. Oh, my God. I need to watch out for the uh, the crawler as well. Where the hell are we going, man? Fucking maze. This guy has so much health. Oh, my God. Why is he so fast as well? He's so fast. Look, watch. We're running here, yeah? And then before you know it, this guy is right up my backside. Oh, my God. I just saw that OP shotgun. That's very, very tempting. Is he dead? No, I think I just pissed him off. He's dead. We killed him. Let's go. Let me have a free perk. Please don't be shit. Double tap. Oh, my God. You can't ask for anything better than that. And you know what? I'm going to reward myself. I'm going to pick up the OP shotgun because it's such a beast. Aha. Shovel required. Okay. I need to find a shovel somewhere. Shovel, where are you at? I've also been informed that apparently there is a free gun on this map. Now, in order for you to get that, there is four switches in the maze. Uh, basically, just like Buried, you just have to get them in the right order and then it will give you a free weapon. Now, the way it works is if you turn on the switch and it sparks, then you know you've got the right one. So let's just turn on the blue one. And as you can see, it didn't spark. So now we're going to have to trigger the remaining three in order for it to reset. And then we have to try again. Right, so I've triggered all of them. Let's just give it another go. So the red switch, are you number one? You are indeed. Let's go. Green switch, are you number two, please? Yes, you are. Let's go. We're actually getting this order done. Now, the question is, is it this one or that one over there? That is the question. I'm very scared to press this one, but... You know what? Screw it. Let's just go for it. Oh my god, it was... Oh my god, the luck. The luck is on our side. Which means the fourth and final one is the blue one. So let's go ahead and hit that. And we should have a free gun somewhere. I mean, I thought it might actually spawn on the fountain. But, I mean, the only other reason I can think... Maybe outside by the entrance. Free weapon! Wait. Oh my god, we have a ray gun. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? Let's just get rid of this. Why not? Now I got a ray gun mark too. And I got the beastly shotgun. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you the location. So um, it's this one over here by the entrance. This is the green one, which is by Jug. And then you have another lever over here, which is the yellow one, which is by the uh, the fountain. Now, if you come this way to the left uh, by the entrance and you follow it all the way around, you should come to a... This is the wrong way. Okay, let's go back. You should come to like a... Oh my God, zombie. You should come to like a long strip down here. And the lever should just be right here, which is the red one. And then literally opposite that. All you have to do is literally go right across. See, look, the fountain, come to the right. Um, and then all you have to do is just find your way to the big long strip, which should be, oh my god, this maze. And then past the Thompson. Is that the Thompson? It is, yeah, the Thompson. Keep coming down here, and then the blue one is going to be chilling right here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've only gone and found a shovel. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Now I can start digging up things, right? Are you a dig site? I mean, it's got skulls and bones and stuff. It has to be, right? It is indeed, right? So... We need to go around the map. Here. Oh my god, we got a grenade. Let's go. Apparently, we need to dig up some of these um, dig sites all around the map. And apparently, we're looking for TNT. So, yeah, I don't know how many we need. Maybe three or four, something like that. And then, um, yeah, we need to go to the fountain and blow it up. So, I guess we might as well get digging. Right, guys. So, as I was actually um, trying to find the TNT, I haven't found any yet. But I came across this gate, right? Which is like the cemetery. And we can use the key to unlock this gate. Which leads us to this brand new area, which is literally right at the back of the map. And it looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, just look at this, man. We've got the statue, the stairs leading up to this beautiful building. And inside, look at that. We've got Pack-A-Punch. Holy crap. In this own little room with the glass, the glass stained windows as well. Oh my god, this looks so sick. Now, the real question is, what do we upgrade? The ray gun or the shotgun? I feel like the ray gun is fine for now. So, I might as well just go ahead and Pack-A-Punch this sweet shotgun. Because why not? It's OP and I love it. And there we have it. Look at that with a beautiful yellow camo as well. Oh, gorgeous. We love it. Oh, finally, after digging for so long, I finally found TNT. But I don't know. I think I need three. You know what, Scoop? We're just going to run back to the fountain and try it. And if it works, thank you. If not, then, oh, that's sad times. Please, I'm begging you. Please don't make me have to grind for another three. Oh, my God. We actually need three. We actually need three. No. 
Oh my god, I think they only spawn in new rounds as well, and I think I've dug up like pretty much every single one. My god, you know what? Screw it, let's just go to the next round, man. Thousands of tears later. Oh, another TNT, yes, let's go. Oh my god, I found it right by spawn. We are actually getting somewhere. Just one more. All I need is one more, and we are literally good to go. And would you look at that? The last TNT just happened to be by Jug. Oh, we love to see it. Right, so I've got two crawlers. Now, like I said, once you get the three TNT, come back to the fountain, and we should be able to place it down. Look at that. And then we're going to blow open this bad boy. Okay, right, we got a wisp. Right, we, so it looks like what? Do we have to fill it with souls? or? Okay, it's moving just by staying next to it. Ah, I see, I see. Right, zombies are literally going to be like, spawning in left, right, and the center. So, yeah, we have to be in our A game now. Otherwise, it's peak times. So this is why I have this shotgun. There we go. Following this bad boy. Let's go. Look at that. One shot and deaded. We're just heading past Mule Kick, which looks actually pretty sick, by the way. I think that's a custom perk machine. I don't know. Never seen that version before. Right, we're going this way. Let's buy the door. I should have bought speed coder for this, really. I really should have bought it. But you know what? Who cares? It's fine. We should be fine. And it actually moves pretty fast. Like, it'd actually be a lot more jarring if you had to collect souls at different points. I mean, I guess it would kind of make sense in a way. Right, looks like it's coming over to here now. Um, right, let's just clear out the rest of these zombies and let's carry on following it. Aha, we have zombie blood. Let's go. Right, so we actually have to be quick here because with the zombie blood, uh, we actually need to blow up three lanterns that are floating in the air. Okay, so this is the first one. It's by the entrance of the maze. So let's hold a grenade and chuck it. And that was way too far. Oh my god. Right, we need to do it again. Three, two, one, chuck. Go boom. There we go. And then it drops. Let me just pick it up. And now there's two more that we need to find. Right, the second one is like roughly at spawn. It's by that creepy tree with the body. So yeah, just hold a grenade, chuck it. Did that work? Oh, it fucking worked. Let's go. And would you look at that? Literally, it's in the witch's house. It's literally by a mule kick. Three, two, one, chuck it. Please drop. Oh my god, that's not good. That's not good. It's literally about to go. No. Chuck it. Work. Did it work? Oh, that's bullshit, man. Fuck's sake. I think we have to wait for another one now. Oh, that's so annoying as well, man. Right, it actually turns out that I can pick up the lightning. So, as weird, like, it's all glitched. Um, but it did say pick up. Look, there it is. Pick up lantern. There we go. There we go. I don't know why it didn't show on the floor. Uh, this guy is super fast. But I got it. <laughs> oh, my God. That was actually stressful. Right, so once you have um, all of the three lanterns, apparently we're supposed to go right to the back of the map where Packer Punch is. So, let's go ahead and make our way there. Here we are. Past the cemetery to the Packer Punch area. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to place the lanterns that you've picked up in, like, different areas. So, like, you can place one here. Uh, we should be able to place one over here. And I guess we place one here. Right, there you go. All the lanterns have been placed. Now, according to the guide, uh, you need to shoot the lanterns that are orange. So, that's been shot. And then you shoot this one. And then you shoot this one over here. And then this one. And then that one. And then the last one. And then once they're all turned purple, this step should be done. So once you've shot all of the lanterns, as I just showed you, and they've all turned purple, you need to make your way back over to the spawn area. And there's going to be four gravestones. Now, on each of the gravestones, there's going to have um, a character's name on it. Now, depending on who you're playing as, that's the gravestone you're supposed to interact with. So we're just making our way back to spawn now. And the gravestone area should be just over here. Now, we're playing as Marston, so we just have to look out for that. So this is... There it is! Marston, sorry, my bad. So we just should be able to um, hold X for the reward. Uh, what do we get? Oh my god. And we get an... Is that an Alistair's Folly? Yo, you know what? Fuck the ray gun. We don't need it. Let's grab it. Alistair's Folly has turned into the Hibernator. <laughs> oh my god. This is so sick. Yo, what a wonder weapon. And it sounds awesome as well. You see, the question is, can we pack a punch it? That is the question. And that is something we are going to go and do and find out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the Pack-A-Punch room. Now, with Pack-A-Punch, the beastly shotgun, can we Pack-A-Punch the Hibernator? And apparently we can't. Apparently we can't Pack-A-Punch this thing. Maybe that's because it's already Pack-A-Punched. I mean, if you can listen to the sound of it, look at that. Look at that. I think already it's Pack-A-Punch, to be fair. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you as well. Around the map, right, you're going to see these little targets. See, there's a target over here. Now, if you shoot all of them, apparently they give you a free perk. So, there was one by the pack a budget area just chilling there behind the gates. There's another one that I've seen just on the roof. Uh, we Oh, did we hit it? Oh, look at that. We actually did. But, uh, yeah, we're just literally just going to go around and see how many we can find. Aha, I found another one by spawn over there to the left. Let's go ahead and shoot that. I think that's target number three. Guys, look how sneaky this one is. Look, it's in the water tower up there. Oh, my God. I nearly missed it as well. Oh, there it is. We got... Oh, fucking mule kick. 
Really? Oh my god, we got Mule King. That is so upsetting. So yeah, guys, that's the four locations of the targets. And of course, it will give you a free perk. But other than that, guys, that has literally been everything completed for Astoria. It's an absolutely beautiful map. If you want to go ahead and download this map, I'm going to leave everything linked down in the description. But other than that, guys, this has been Astoria. Now, if you've enjoyed the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!